Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I am the little foodie and today I'm going to be doing my Korean chicken. Uh, I was meant to get this up yesterday. Uh, I've been getting a bit of grief of an old friend of mine uh, who we recently connected after about 20 years. Uh, really good to see this guy again. Um, still crazy as ever but crazy in a good way. So he's been giving me a bit of jip to get this up. So I'm going to try and get this up. Um, we'll get this out. Jason, this one's for you. Uh, here we go, we're just gonna start. So, first of all, I'm gonna give you the ingredients. Uh, as of the last video, um, I forgot. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's get the ingredients out this time. I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera, um, but they're doing like a, a sing song outside uh, for the NHS staff. You might be able to pick that up on the video, but it's good to see. Uh, every little bit helps them, so happy days. Anyway, let's go. So, for this, you're gonna need one and a half cups of ketchup. You're going to need uh, two chopped scallions. Uh, you're gonna need one tablespoon of sesame oil, one tablespoon of honey. I didn't have normal honey, so I had to steal some of my missus's Manuka honey. Don't tell her, cause she'll kill me. But anyway, that's a different story. Uh, two tablespoons of soy sauce, uh, two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar, a quarter teaspoon uh, of minced ginger, three cloves of chopped garlic, Chop, chop nice and fine and a half teaspoon of balsamic vinegar so that's basically all the ingredients you're going to need um, I've done a bit of work off camera just to speed the whole process up so I've used three chicken breasts here I just have these in a Pyrex bowl they're about 170 grams in weight each one uh, so that's what we're going to be working with so basically once you have that done and you have it chopped all we're going to do then is we're going to add the flour to it. It might it might seem like a lot of flour, but uh, you know you really want this to combine really really well, so it doesn't uh, so it doesn't come off when it's in the pan. So literally into that as well. This is optional. Uh, this is just about a quarter teaspoon of turmeric. Uh, you don't have to put this into the dish, but it just gives the chicken a, a better color. So I'm just going to add that in there. I'm just going to move these off to the side and then we're going to get a spoon and we're just going to mix all this together just get it coated uh, we don't need to add any seasoning into this at all because from the soy sauce and the sauce as well you're going to get that salt from it so we'll leave the salt out just move this to one side Okay, so you see the chicken's just coated. Yeah, it looks like there's a lot there. So into that, I'm just gonna crack one egg. This is a, a medium egg. So that's the medium egg in. And then we're just gonna mix this around again. What this is gonna do, it's gonna help to coat the chicken and give it a nice sticky crumb. So you wanna just keep mixing this. Just keep mixing it around. I didn't get the chance to fully write this recipe out, so. I think what we'll do, because it's still quite slack, then all I'm gonna do to this is just add, um, I would say about two to three tablespoons of water. So we'll get that in. And then we'll just get the spoon back. And again, we're just going to mix this. As you can see now, it's quite it's quite sticky. It's really important now at this stage to make sure the chicken's separated, to make sure that it's all coated, because you don't want it you don't you don't want spots in it where there's no flour on it. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to put this into the pan uh, to cook. I'm, I'm actually going to be deep frying this. Uh, so we'll just get straight into that. Um, what I'll do is I have another Pyrex dish here. So what I'll do is I'll just fry off the chicken lightly. And for the first stage, we're only going to 
just give it a quick fry just to get it nice and crispy and we're going to take it out uh, we're going to strain it with a sieve and then we're just going to place it in here and then we'll do the sauce so guys once i've done that uh, we'll come back to the video um, and i'll show you how it looks and then we'll go on and we'll do the sauce and then we'll come back and do the final stage give the chicken a final stage and we'll coat it all and it's as simple as that so five minutes guys and we'll be back okay guys so uh we're back and if by magic we have our chicken here i'm just going to give you a little close up of this this is this is only par cooked i've literally just sealed this chicken uh because what we want to do is just put this to one side and we want to do the sauce next because we're going to give this a final fry just make sure it's really really nice and crispy so when the uh when when we cover up with the sauce it still retains that that crispiness is not soggy and stodgy which is it's not nice to eat so jason i hope you're keeping up with this uh we're going to go on for the sauce now so pay attention so in here i have one and a half cups of uh tomato ketchup so we're just going to add this in what i would normally do before this i would normally uh i would normally sweat off the scallions uh, and the garlic together so it's literally you just your pot add in your scallions a tiny tiny bit of oil maybe a teaspoon uh toasted sesame oil will be perfect uh, and just sweat that off and then you want to add your garlic into that now you want to add your garlic just at that later stage because you don't want the garlic to burn because if the garlic burns uh, it's not very it's not very pleasant to eat uh, can can ruin the dish completely so for this purposes and to keep it as simple as possible I'm just going to add the ketchup in here and then we're going to start off then with the rest of the ingredients which is the scallions so I'm going to put about half the amount of scallions in and I'm just going to keep this bit here as you can see I'm just going to keep them because I'm going to use them for a garnish on the top so we'll just set them to one side and while I was off camera as well I just want to show you these this was the, I just cooked off some naan bread. Uh, now this is a naan bread that I did in my earlier video. I made these a little bit thicker uh, and they'll come out really well. Uh, they puffed up really, really well in the pan. So I just cooked these off, uh, clean tea towel and then I've just wrapped them to keep them warm. So this is what I'm gonna be serving with serving uh, with the Korean chicken. It's what the kids and the, and, the, and the missus like. So that's what we're gonna go with. I'm just gonna fold that, put it over to one side just to keep them warm okay i'm back to the sauce so we have the ketchup in we have the scallions in and then we have the garlic i'm just going to put the garlic in so that's the garlic in as well just move this out of the way and then we've got the ginger so we're just going to put the minced ginger in as well okay so that's that and here we have some toasted sesame oil here so we're just gonna put this in. Okay, and next we're going to put in the honey, uh, the Manuka honey that I stole off Emma. She, uh, she wasn't too happy with me, but oh well, nice and healthy as well. So we'll just put that in, get every last bit of that because as we all know, Manuka honey is quite expensive. Okay, so onto this then, we have the rice wine vinegar. So we're just gonna put the rice wine vinegar into that as well. And we're gonna put in the soy sauce. And that's it. So Jason asked me, how was I able to get it so sticky and how was I able to get the color in it? Uh, there's, there's no real magic. It's just a combination of the ingredients. And then one addition I have put into this it's just about a half a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar now it's not traditional but it helps with the color and it just gives it that nice color so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to add this in and then i'm just going to cook it out over a really low heat um, and then i'm just going to let it simmer for about 20 minutes just to make sure that, that garlic's cooked out and all the ingredients are, are just cooked nicely uh, as we have put in the, the raw garlic into that so i'm going to put this on We'll come back again. Uh, I'll show you the consistency and the color of the sauce. Uh, and then we'll get the chicken fried off and uh, we should be good to go. Uh, we'll start plating up and uh, 
the kids can have dinner. So Korean chicken it is again for dinner. Happy days, guys. I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, guys, that's the sauce done. Uh, I'm just going to give you a quick, quick little look at it here. It was just about a 10 or 15 minutes on a really, really low heat just to make sure that the garlic was cooked out nicely. So I'm just going to give you a, a little look at this. Maybe you can see that. That's what we're left with there. Oh, lost a little bit there. So I'm just going to sit this back down. Again, I have a board there. Um, and the board's there just so I don't burn the countertop. So that's it. So the sauce is here now. Uh, we can take this back over to the stove. Just keep it on a low heat, really, really low heat, just to keep the heat in the sauce. And what we're going to do then is we're going to pull the chicken back that we made earlier. And we're going to give this a final fry now, just to cook the chicken through and get it nice and crispy. So it stays nice and crispy when we put the sauce on it. So I'm going to do that uh, off camera. I'm just going to pause it. So you just want your chicken out and then uh, you're basically just going to want to keep this, keep this here. Um, so we can just put the chicken back into it so it's ready to take the grease off it if you don't want the greasy chicken. So I'm going to get on with that and then we'll come back. We'll put everything together. Uh, we'll pull a plate out. Uh, oh, and while I was off camera, I also put my oven on to about 50 or 60 degrees and I've put my naan bread in there. Uh, I've four pieces of naan bread in there because I'm, I'm cooking for uh, the kids and the missus and happy days. So that's in there just keep them warm. And it'll make everything a lot quicker when you when you're putting it putting it all together so you don't have to run around so i'm going to do this and we'll come back guys i'll see you in a jiffy okay guys so the chicken is fully cooked off now um i'll just gonna let you see this hear this see nice and crispy all good so we'll, we'll just give it a check just to make sure chicken's cooked still nice and moist We'll just set that piece to one side. So all we're going to do now is uh, I've got a Pyrex bowl, just so you can see see what's going on here. I'm just going to tip that in, and then the sauce is on the stove. So the sauce is still still nice and hot, steaming sauce. And then all we're going to do, we're just going to tip this in, put it all in, just set this to one side. And then I'm, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to toss it. Oh, the smell off this is amazing. The smell of the vinegar, the sweetness from the honey. Really, really good. Okay, and that's basically it. So from here, all we're left to do is uh, I'm going to start plating up now for the dinner. But what I will do is take one of these out just to get a little look at it. And then what I'm actually going to do here now is I've kept some of the scallions back. So all I'm going to do is just put this, put a sprinkle of scallions over the top of this. And then I've got some toasted sesame seeds here. So I'm just going to sprinkle in toasted sesame seeds over the top. And then I'm just going to give it another mix. You can do this with a spoon. Put some more on there. And I've got the naan bread in the oven, just keeping that warm. So I'm just going to plate one of these up for you. And again, this is a, I'm using the naan bread that I made uh, in a previous video. Um, goes really well. You can put garlic butter onto this as well if you like, but there's for me, there's no need for this. So I'm just going to get a spoon here now. You know, this is this is the way my kids like to eat it. And again, there's no frills, there's no fuss, it's just simple food, simple food, and it goes down a treat. And then we'll just hit it with a bit more sesame seed. Let's give it a wipe down here. That guys, is, that's basically it. No fuss, no frills. You know, you can put a, you can put a bit more uh, scallion or spring onion on this, uh, whatever you like. But it's good to go and super tasty. Hope you like the video. Um, you know, I'm enjoying making these videos. It's a, it's a new channel. Uh, rambling on a bit here. So, if you make the dish, 
leave your comments let me know send me a few pictures uh, again i'll answer any any questions that i can and uh, if you like what you see again like and sub subscribe and uh, hit the notification button and i'll see you again in the next video guys thank you